Well, here I am in the back of the schoolyard of the William Ellery Channing Elementary School in Hyde Park on Sunnyside Street, where I attended from the second grade to the sixth grade. I think it must have been like 71 or so when I left here in the sixth grade, maybe 70. And uh, have a lot of fond memories. I remember the janitor, Ed, and uh, they still had coal, and there were the coal, uh, we would, they were still burning coal back then. Don't know what heats it now, but that's uh, where you would run, put the coal. The coal truck would come and show up. And over here would be the uh, woodworking shop. Right here at the back here. Where we learned how to do a lot of good things with wood. But the schoolyard was where we had a lot of wonderful times here. Uh, we used to play a game called Bombardment. I don't think that game was played anymore. I'm not certain, but... And it would be a little difficult to play it here now. But what we do is have teams, <coughs> maybe 8 to 10 on each side. And one team would uh, be over here by this wall and fence. And the other team would be over here. And the object of the game is you'd have a, we'd call it a squash ball or a volleyball. And you'd run up in the middle. To the middle would be a line there. And you would either uh, you'd try to hit the opponent. Uh, you could get them out on a bounce, and if the ball was caught, then uh, you were out. And uh, when I was in the fourth grade, now, it hasn't changed much, probably even worse, but fourth graders have nothing to do with sixth graders and fifth graders, and uh, that's just the way it is in these uh, public schools. Um, so as a fourth grader, we, the fifth graders and sixth graders would almost never talk to you, but they needed a, another person, so they chose me, and... I was the last man. They got all, all the other guys out, and I had, I was on this side, and over here were the best uh, Bob Bomber players, guys like Eddie Feeney, I can still remember. I think it was Manny DeMello and his uh, brother and some others, uh, I think one of the Lamberts. And uh, they thought, well, I'm an easy target. I'm only a fourth grader. Well, I got them all out, uh, every one of them out, and that was my uh, two minutes of athletic fame in the fourth grade. It was the talk of the school for a day or two. Uh, but anyway, uh, things have changed a bit. In some cases, the school looks better because it was falling apart in the 60s. Uh, named after a Unitarian minister from Boston, actually from Rhode Island, whose grandfather was one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, and this little, uh, little climbing unit here was not there, and they didn't have... These benches were not there, and they didn't have the trash barrels here. And that little uh, that little stand there, or whatever that is there with the concrete form, that wasn't there. Um, and, of course, over here, that wasn't there. And they didn't have this shed. So it has changed a little bit. We used to also play a game of squash. We called it squash. It was more like uh, baseball with a, with a volleyball. And this would be where home plate would be. And... Uh, We'd run the bases, and uh, anyway, it was a, a good game to play. You don't really need a whole lot to keep uh, young people busy. Yeah. A ball, and uh, in some cases a stick, and a, and a half of a, a wiffle ball uh, would be enough. Anyway, some very fond memories of my time here.